Hello, Kulas, and welcome to Viva Basa. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting transfer updates. We start with Fiorentina midfielder Sofian Amrabat, as it has been reported that Barcelona have dropped out of the race completely for the 30 million euro rated midfield enforcer, according to Gerard Romero. We are going to be discussing on that report as we progress. Then secondly, talking about right back Jao Cancelo, as Barcelona still remain the best position club to sign the 60 million euro rated Man City outcast. Of course, our bet on a possible loan deal. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video, consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Signing a midfielder has turned out to be one of Barcelona's priorities in this summer window, especially after Sergio Busquets announced his desire to leave the club at the end of the month. However, Barcelona's list of targets is dwindling with each passing day. After Ruben Neves moved one step closer to moving to Saudi Arabia, it appears there are other targets like Sofian Amrabat is also set to move elsewhere. According to Gerard Romero, Barcelona have ruled out the signing of Amrabat. The Fiorentina starlet has been chucked out of Barca's wish list and the club will not pursue a deal for the midfielder this summer. This came shortly after reports that claim Amrabat is ready to move to Atletico Madrid ahead of a switch to Catalonia, the player whose market value stands at 30 million euros. Wanted to join Barca earlier in the year, but with the club not in a position to register him immediately, it appears he had a change of heart. With Amrabat and Neves not options anymore, and Joshua Kimmich and Martin Zubimendi proving to be way too expensive, Barcelona must set their sights on other alternatives. The Catalans have been curiously linked with a move for Espanol captain Sergi Dader lately. However, the club could face stiff competition from Almeria in the race to sign Dader. As for other options in the market, Barcelona are in contention to sign Ilkay Gondogan. The German could extend his contract at the Etihad and is not fully fleshed defensive midfielder. One player who does interest Xavi is Guido Rodriguez. The Argentine international is rated highly by the Barcelona coach, but whether he ends up joining Barcelona would depend on several external factors including how the club managed to get rid of unwanted stars this summer. Of course, the search for a new pivot has been the most talked about transfers news this, this summer. Sofian Amrabat was the player that many people saw like he would be coming to Barca, especially when Barca missed out on their first choices, um, Robert, um, Martin Zubimendi and Joshua Kimmich. And now talking about Sofian Amrabat, you know, completely ruled out of Barca's wish list. I think it's a very, very big blow for us. And it kind of made me wonder who at the end of the day will be our new pivot. Because all the time when we link to this player, it falls apart. You know, I've really lost out on Kimmich, Zubimendi as well. Not more possible. Now talking about players like Amrabat out of the wish list. And of course, recently we're talking about the fact that the player have been waiting for Barca to make a statement. But Barca, uh, we're not taking it seriously. And there was no guarantee of registration. That is even one thing that even just killed the hopes. And when he knows very well that Atletico Madrid is closely showing interest, you know, reports were saying that he have decided that he will go to Atletico. And Barcelona have no big issue with that, as now we're uh, reading the statement that the player have gone to Atletico. He wants to go to Atletico, and Barca have cancelled him off their wish list. Of course, there have been other players that we've been talking about in recent days, like Guido Rodriguez, Lo Celso, and of course, of course, um, Alex Baena of Villarreal. You know, but the question is: Are those players qualitative enough to play for a club like Barcelona? Are they qualitative enough to play for Barca? Because all of them, we talked about how Xavi likes them, he wants them, 
But at the end, it should not be a matter where Barca show interest in all the midfielders around the world and the lost focus on what they actually want. You know, so I think that was where there will be a lot of confusion. But let's see who comes. As it stands now, there is no favorite. You cannot say this player will likely come as the new pivot because there are just a lot of players linked to Barca and it kind of make me wonder who can be that player because when Barca link to the player at the end, they will say no. We can't go for him. He's not the first. He's not our choice, and so on and so forth. So it will be very, very busy summer. We know that a new pivot is something that must be addressed. Javi knows that more than anyone. He have already said it that Busquets replacement must be must be bought, whether I like it or not. Even if it's on the last minute of the transfer window, Barca will be hunting for a quality DM. And who is that DM? We don't know. We've been linked with a host of players. And also an interior midfielder is a position that Javi wants to bring. Like Ikai Gondugan, of course, he's the most talked about interior midfielder that Javi is closely monitoring. And a move looks possible. But let's see how it goes. And whereas other areas of the pitch that needs to be strengthened. Then moving on to the final story of discussion. Earlier today... Transfer guru Trans uh, Fabrizio Romano reported that Man City and Cancelo are certain to part ways in the summer. He also added that Barca held the strongest interest in the Portuguese as he shares it at an exit from the Etihad, although a move would depend on financial fair play. Building on those claims, Sport is now reporting that Barca are the best position club to sign the right back in the upcoming transfer window. The Blaugrana have been chasing the 29-year-old signing since the January window. Efforts were made to sign him up on loan in the winter, but a move fell through as Cancelo ended up joining Bayern Munich instead. With the Bavarians opting against triggering that 70 million euro purchase option for him. The right back is back at City, where he has no future there following some issues he has with Pep Guardiola. Barca, who are maintaining a strong interest in Jao Cancelo, believe that they have the best chances of his signing as long as a good offer for his permanent signing does not arrive. As now for one, had shown an interest in taking the former Juventus man permanently. However, the report claims that talks between the Gunners and the citizens have somewhat stalled of late, leaving now the door for, open for Barcelona. The La Liga champions intend to sign Jao Cancelo, whose market value currently stands at 60 million euros on loan and have conveyed their interest to the Premier League title holders via super agent George Mendes. They are aware that the Portuguese star's registration would pose some challenges due to his high wages and the club salary limit issues. However, the defender is prioritizing a move to Barcelona and knows that he will have to reduce his salary if he wishes to secure a transfer to Catalonia. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.